In October 2025, Russia's United Engine Corporation and China's Aero Engine Corporation unveiled a partnership that would send ripples across the global aviation industry. This wasn't just another business deal, it was a strategic alliance with the potential to reshape the balance of power in the skies. Their mission, to co-develop a cutting-edge jet engine specifically for China's ambitious COMAX C919 airliner, a project that had long sought to break free from Western technological dependence. This collaboration is far more than a commercial venture, it's a bold geopolitical statement, signaling a direct challenge to the decades-long dominance of Western giants like Airbus and Boeing. The world watched as two of the largest nations joined forces, determined to carve out their own space in the fiercely competitive aviation market. The plan is ambitious, adapt Russia's advanced PD-14 engine for the C919, blending Russian engineering expertise with China's vast manufacturing capabilities. This fusion of strengths could create a new standard in commercial aviation. For China, this partnership represents a giant leap toward technological self-sufficiency and a chance to establish itself as a true aviation powerhouse. It's about building the capacity to design, produce, and maintain world-class aircraft engines at home. For Russia, the deal is a vital economic lifeline. With Western sanctions tightening, Moscow sees this as an opportunity to keep its aerospace industry thriving and to secure a major export market for its technology. Together, they aim to break free from the grip of Western technology, forging a parallel aerospace ecosystem that could one day rival the established order. The message is unmistakable. Beijing and Moscow are no longer content to be mere customers. They want to be innovators, leaders, and architects of the future of flight. The announcement sent shockwaves through Western boardrooms. Industry leaders and analysts scrambled to assess the impact, realizing that a formidable new competitor was emerging on the horizon. This engine deal is more than just a contract. It's the cornerstone of an ambitious vision to redraw the map of global aviation, and the world is watching what happens next. The Russo-Chinese pact was sparked by a pivotal event that would reshape the global aviation landscape almost overnight. In mid-2025, the United States imposed a sweeping ban on the sale of aircraft engines and related technology to China, targeting the heart of its ambitious aviation industry. For six tense weeks, China's access to the advanced Leap 1C engine and other vital components was completely severed. Production lines ground to a halt, and the vulnerability of China's aviation sector was laid bare for all to see. Although the ban was eventually lifted after intense diplomatic negotiations, the shockwaves lingered. The incident exposed just how quickly foreign policy decisions could threaten years of progress. Beijing's leaders realized that their dream of building a world-class aviation industry could be derailed in an instant by external forces beyond their control. Meanwhile, China's own homegrown engine program, the CJ-1000A, was still years behind schedule, plagued by technical setbacks and delays. The US move forced China to look for a faster, more reliable solution. That's when Russia stepped in, offering its ready-to-deploy PD-14 engine a lifeline for China's grounded jets. Ironically, the embargo that was meant to isolate China instead brought it closer to Russia. The two nations began collaborating on engine technology, accelerating the rise of a formidable new aerospace competitor. Rather than weakening China, the US embargo catalyzed a partnership that could one day challenge Western dominance in the skies, reshaping the balance of power in global aviation. The episode was a stark reminder that in geopolitics, actions often have unintended, far-reaching consequences, sometimes even forging alliances between former rivals. For China, the urgency to achieve true engine independence had never been clear. Setting the stage for a new era in global aviation competition, the commercial jet engine market is an exclusive club, dominated by GE, Pratt & Whitney, Rolls-Royce, and Safran. Decades of investment, proprietary know-how, and strict certification rules have kept newcomers out. Developing a new engine costs billions and requires deep technical expertise. Certification by Western regulators is a massive hurdle. Without it, engines are locked out of most global markets. The real money is in long-term service and parts, making the business even harder to crack. The Russo-Chinese partnership is a direct challenge to this entrenched system. Their goal, to break into the club and offer the world a true alternative. The EU saw the Russo-Chinese engine deal as more than business. It's a strategic threat. It undermines sanctions designed to isolate Russia, pumping new life into its aerospace sector. 
European giants like Safran and Rolls-Royce face a state-backed rival targeting their core markets. The partnership could fragment the global aviation market, creating competing technical standards and regulatory regimes. There's also a security risk. Advanced engine tech has military applications, raising alarms in European defense circles. The EU fears losing jobs, exports, and technological leadership. This isn't just about planes. It's about economic sovereignty and global influence. The deal is seen as a direct challenge to Europe's industrial and strategic interests. The anxiety in Brussels is real and growing. Building a new jet engine is one of engineering's toughest feats. It's a process that pushes the boundaries of science, technology, and human ingenuity. Every component must withstand extreme temperatures, pressures, and forces, all while delivering maximum efficiency and reliability. The margin for error is razor thin. One small flaw can have catastrophic consequences. Russia and China must master advanced metallurgy, like single crystal turbine blades, to compete on performance and efficiency. These blades are the heart of a modern jet engine, allowing it to run hotter and more efficiently than ever before. Developing the expertise to produce them is a challenge that took Western manufacturers decades to perfect. Producing these components at scale and quality is a massive challenge. Factories must maintain exacting standards, and even the smallest defect can lead to engine failure. Scaling up from prototypes to mass production is a hurdle that has tripped up many ambitious programs in the past. Software is just as critical. Modern engines rely on complex digital controls that must integrate seamlessly with aircraft systems. These digital brains monitor and adjust engine performance in real time, ensuring safety and efficiency. Developing, testing, and certifying this software is a monumental task in itself. Adapting the PD-14 for the C919 isn't plug-and-play. It requires deep re-engineering and collaboration. Teams must redesign components, test new configurations, and solve unexpected integration issues. It's a process that demands patience, expertise, and constant innovation. The final hurdle international certification can be the most daunting. Engines must pass rigorous safety and performance tests, often under the scrutiny of multiple regulatory bodies. Without FAA or ESA approval, the engine's market is limited. Airlines around the world rely on these certifications to ensure safety and reliability, and without them, sales are restricted to a handful of countries. Geopolitics make Western certification unlikely, restricting sales mostly to China, Russia, and allies. This limits the engine's commercial potential and makes it harder to recoup the massive investment required for development. Any misstep in tech, quality, or certification could doom the project. The stakes are high, and the world is watching every move. The climb is steep, and the risks are high. But for those who succeed, the rewards are transformative, not just for the companies involved, but for the entire nation's aerospace ambitions. But the prize, a seat at aviation's top table, is worth the struggle. For Russia and China, mastering the jet engine is more than a technical achievement. It's a symbol of national pride and a ticket to global influence. The real battleground isn't the West, it's Asia, Africa, and Latin America, where air travel is booming. Airlines in these regions want affordable, reliable jets and are less tied to Western suppliers. The Sino-Russian strategy offer the C919 with attractive financing backed by state banks. For many carriers, a lower-cost jet with quick delivery is irresistible. This approach mirrors China's success in infrastructure projects across the developing world. Winning these markets could give the C919 the scale and credibility it needs. For some countries, buying Chinese or Russian is also a political statement, diversifying away from the West. Aggressive pricing, financing, and geopolitics could finally crack open markets long dominated by Boeing and Airbus. Can the Russo-Chinese venture really break the Boeing Airbus duopoly? In the short term, the Western giants are safe. Their tech lead and customer base are formidable, but long-order backlogs create openings for new players who can deliver faster. If the C919 proves safe, reliable, and efficient, it will find buyers, especially where price and delivery matter most. The real test matching Western engines on fuel efficiency and performance. Even if the duopoly isn't toppled, it could be eroded, leading to a three-way race in the single-aisle market. More competition means faster innovation and better deals for airlines and passengers. The starting gun for a new era of aviation competition has been fired. 
the Russo-Chinese engine pact marks a turning point in aviation. We're entering a multipolar era, with rival aerospace ecosystems and fragmented supply chains. Western-built jets may dominate some skies, while Sino-Russian aircraft rise in Asia, Africa, and beyond. Airlines could face new complexities, mixed fleets, competing standards, and regulatory hurdles. Yet, competition could drive innovation, more efficient engines, new materials, and greener tech. Cheaper aircraft could open new routes and lower fares, but political tensions may disrupt the industry. The smooth, unified global aviation network may be a thing of the past. The technical and regulatory challenges for the new partnership are immense, but their resolve is clear. The comfortable duopoly is facing its biggest challenge yet. The race for the future of flight is on and the world is watching.